We have planted trees in your name, Lina, as a mark of contribution towards preserving the environment. We plant trees in their names through the website www.growtrees.com. Thank you. Amazing. Amazing. invite Sunita Abhi to give to Hemant Ms. Poonamji to give a memento to Kirti. So these are special, these are caravans which are given by our GB member Avarna Jain. These are special versions dedicated to Azadi Amrit Ka Mahotsav. They have music and songs plus speeches by freedom fighters. Caravans work as Bluetooth speakers and have radios as well. Thank you Avarna. <coughs> I invite Priyanka ji to give a gift to Rupa. I would like to invite National Press President Jayanti ji Dalmia to give her welcome address. Thank you. Thank you, Bela, and thank you for making today's program possible. <coughs> Radha Krishna and Nama. <coughs> Salutations to Lord Krishna and Radha Ji. Namaste and a very good afternoon to everyone today. A small shloka to start today's program. Ayam Nija Paro Viti Ganana Lagu Chetasam Udara Charita Nam Tu Vasudeva Kutumbam, Kutumbaka. The English translation says, This is mine, that is his. Say the small minded. The wise believe that the entire world is my family. Vasudeva Kutumbaka, the all inclusive core value of our Indian civilization, that the whole world is one family. We all know this, we all understand this. But very few of us practice this in our lives. Today, we have someone who believes and follows this philosophy and is determined and committed to heal a fractured world with her passionate work. Alima Alam is the founder and CEO of Bengaluru's Mitti Cafe. A warm welcome to you, Alina, on behalf of Fiki Ladies Organization. I don't know if what I'm going to say now is her thinking, but I'm just anyway going to put this across. Mitti means mud in Hindi. The concept is we are all the same despite gender, class, ideology and many other differences. We all come from the mud and we all return to mud. As a result, I think Mitti Cafe was born. Am I right? Absolutely. Oh. <laughs> This Mitti cafes are not just an ordinary place. They are cafes run by differently abled. This dynamic young lady here is empowering the specially able to earn with dignity. The cafes outreach programs strive to raise awareness regarding <coughs> disability rights and inclusion. People with disability fail significant obstacles to equal opportunities in the world of work. Though there is, there has been a shift in inclusivity, awareness and change in the last few decades 
but society still is the biggest barrier for people with disabilities. Stereotyping, stigma and discrimination, these are all enduring challenges and these have resulted in unemployment and inadequate job quality for them. There are approximately 2.68 crores differently abled people in India. This is only India. Keeping them from, away from the economy means loss of potential and opportunities for the nation. Globally, the World Bank considers that leaving people with disability outside the economy translates into a foregone GDP of about 5 to 7 percent. To ensure the principle of leaving no one behind of the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development, we have to make important contributions to the economic development. Flow is one of the oldest business chambers in Southeast Asia, working towards the goal of women empowerment. Since its inception in 1983, we have been working towards economic empowerment of women and promoting entrepreneurship. This year, I am looking to reaffirm the flow vision with special emphasis on transforming women's participation in India's growth trajectory. At the same time, I am looking at working towards the inclusion of specially able people in the workforce. I am happy to share that we have an exclusive national initiative this year, the Flow Differently Abled Cell. The objective of this cell is to facilitate the inclusion in Atmanirbhar Bharat's story and to remove barriers to inclusion and address key challenges. This is the need of the hour and this is what we want to achieve and this is exactly what Alina is doing. To conclude, a quote by Rolf Waldo Emerson seems very apt today. Do not go where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. Thank you so much. Now let's hear from Alina a trailblazing story. Thank you. There are over 70 million persons with disability in India and over a billion across the world. My name is Alina Alam. I started Mitty Cafe in 2017 with the dream of showing the world the magic of abilities. I wanted them to see uh, the mirror to their true potential much beyond their disabilities. I wanted to provide a space and environment where they could fail, learn, grow, devise solutions. As a model that is community driven, the success or the failure of which is directly dependent on the community. And what better than food to connect people to people? Food is a medium to create awareness about inclusion with every meal that we serve, as well as um, generate livelihood opportunities for wonderful adults with physical, intellectual and psychiatric disabilities. The point is that it is so important for businesses to realize the importance, the essentiality, uh, the power of inclusion while they're growing their human capital. We call it uh, Karuna Meals or the Compassion Meals. It gives me immense pride to share that our team have served over 30 lakh meals to the economically vulnerable and the homeless this pandemic. The problem really is the disability in our perception that stops us from seeing their immense potential and the magic in their abilities.
every person wants to be valued and deserves dignity. At Mitti Cafe, our pursuit is to inspire people to believe in the inclusive ecosystem that we promote that could be emulated anywhere across the globe and could change millions of lives. So the question is, are you willing to take responsible steps for your business towards a path with purpose? You know, I think while um, the conversations were going on, I just quickly asked Veera, ki Veera, I'm very uncomfortable sitting there. With a, can I get a hand mic to move around? And very, very nice of you, very kind of you to give me this hand mic. Uh, so, wonderful to be here. My name is Alina Adam, and I started Mitty Cafe with a single dream the dream of showing the world the magic of abilities. I thank Vicky Flo, Jayanti Ma'am, my friend Vela, and of course Priyanka Ma'am sitting here, and uh, his wonderful son Nipun for inspiring so many like us for so many years. Now, uh, yeah. So now let me take you back a couple of years. Thoda piche chalte uh, I was in college, 22 year old, waiting for placements, and I come across this one chap, and who changes my life? Who could he be? Call ho sakta Who could this guy be? Julius is a very close guest. Michelangelo. Socrates. Closer. Plato. Last guess, Aristotle. No. <laughs> so I was actually in college, and thank you all for guessing, and free chai at Mitty Cafe when you come for guessing. So I was in college waiting for placements, ki chalo abhi ho gaya padhai, master's khatam, and finally abhi nokri, paisa. And then I come across this one guy through a documentary on the Vidharma Farmer Suicides by P. Saina. Now this guy is Neo. So for those of y'all who may not know who he is, he is a guy who's changed my life and defined the course, the history of Mitty Cafe. Nero was an emperor in the ancient Roman Empire, mighty, rich. You see, he would win one war after the other and the other and the other. And one day, he wins the biggest battle of his life. And when you win, what do you do? Party? Right? A party at the so he won this war and he threw a party and he invited the who's who of Tinsel Town. He invited kings and queens, prince and princesses from across seven kingdoms. And as evening we fell, Nero said, Boss, we need some lights to make the party happening. So he decided to burn waste to generate light. He decided to burn the prisoners of war and the poor people who were captured, who he compared, who he considered no more than waste. I was about 22 years old then. While all other students walked out, I stayed in that classroom for the next two hours. Realizing that the problem is not Nero. You know, because you could equate Nero with atrocities, injustice, discrimination, to a chat is nahi hai that we see in the world, that they exist. You know what the problem was? The problem was Nero's guests. As to how thousands of them could sing, dance, drink, when fellow human beings burned and died. And I realized at that point that the 22-year-old in me was one of Nero's guests. That is, if you feel something about anything, and if you're not willing to take action, then you've taken a side. And that side is a difficult side, whatever your reason may be. It is the side of the oppressor. I decided, Bhaiya, I can't sit for college placements. I, I, I instead wanted to find myself. I started volunteering with organizations that work with people with disabilities, having been brought up by my grandmother who always used crutches to walk around. But that was just 
you know, one thing about her. All that I could see in her while growing up is her childhood abilities. Very different from the way, you know, the world looked at people with disabilities. So I wanted to explore for myself that, you know, my thoughts are right or maybe the world is right. So I started volunteering with organizations that work with people with disabilities. Which is when I realized this one simple thing, very simple. But the problem is not that there are 70 million people with disabilities in our country and over a billion people with disabilities across the world. That statistics is not the problem. You know what the real problem is? Absolutely. The largest statistics, which is the law of us and the disability in our perceptions that stops us from seeing the magic in their abilities. I wanted to create a model that is visible, but not everybody can see tangible, interactive, and the success or the failure of which would be dependent on y'all, on the community. And what better than food, khana, to connect people to people, ek denominator chahiye tha, which is simple, for everybody to understand, everybody to access, everybody to connect to. So, food is a medium to do two things, generate livelihood, okay, kitna karenge, hazaar, do hazaar, but create awareness about inclusion with every meal that we serve. So when I started Mitty Cafe, I started it with Khali Pockets, Empty Pockets, Zero Startup Capital, Failed Sales Attempts, Multiple Rejections. And uh, you see, there is one lesson that I've learned in all of this. The scarcity jab hota hai na, like when you all would be speaking to a lot of entrepreneurs and they feel scared, hey, we start up. You know, what's the best advice that you could give? I'd say, fear is normal. Right? But your, your first year when resources are scarce, so the paise nahi the, experience nahi tha. But scarcity makes you strong. It makes you desperate. It makes you leech-like. Right? And which are great assets for any entrepreneur. So, our first cafe was in a dilapidated tin shed full of generations of rats. And 90% uh, of our equipments were donated by the community, by absolute strangers. Right from our spoon to the second hand oven, the second hand fridge. All of that donated by absolute strangers. So when scarcity was not I went from door to door, house to house. They were not asking money, they were 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 And that's what the community did and they became our brand ambassadors. This picture that you see in front of you, Abhi Kriyana, so I still remember the first day that this girl came in for the interview. She came in crawling because at that point of time her family could not afford a wheelchair. If you would give her this click off, a cup of coffee, her hands would shake and it would fall. A lot of things biology cannot explain. Today the same girl sits on her wheelchair and manages 10 other people with disabilities. She is the manager for our first cafe and her name is Kirti. And as I talk to you, we have hundreds of Kirtis across the 23 Mitty cafes that we have. And together our team of adults with physical, intellectual and psychiatric disabilities have served 8 million meals and beverages. And for us, for our team there, Kaam sa bullo bhi karte hai. They are our change makers out there. They know the value of that one coffee when we give to that one person, that one chai that we give to that one person and the opportunity to create awareness about inclusion to make them join the movement that belongs to all of us. We all know Mr. Narayan Murthy, Infosys founder, uh, abhi bohat charche mein hai, father of, father-in-law of Rishi Sonak, so bohat charche mein hai. But the hero of the picture na, koi aur hai. Who could be the hero of the picture? Any guesses? Correct. But a cheating Yeah, he looks like the hero. And the reason and the reason and the reason why he is the hero of the picture is that he is representative of the stories, untold stories of hundreds and millions of adults with disabilities that often go untold, unheard. So his name is Bhairappa. Bhairappa, when he came in, he was rejected at 80 plus jobs. We just put that that we got lucky. And uh, I've not cropped this picture. 
uh, when he, even he did not know the concept of wearing slippers or brushing his teeth. Today, the same boy. You look at that graph, you look, look at that orange arrow, you look at what's written in green. He's our team lead, he's leading our entire team at Infosys. And it is the same boy who came in barefoot for the interview, rejected at 80 plus jobs. And do you know when adults with disabilities come in? For you all to see their abilities, baad mein aayega, that will happen eventually. But you know the most difficult part is, what? To show them the mirror to their abilities. After years of being told that they will never, you know, they'll, they'll always be dependent, they may never find a job, Bhairappa has overcome all of that, team made Vanya, nice. This boy was also told that he will never find love because of his disability. And then the next slide will be your favorite slide. Then this happened. <laughs> Ta-da! So he went Rupa at a cafe at Vipro. So imagine Infosys Vipro, rivalry, but it be PR. So they met, they fell in love, and just last, last year, they got married. You have um, Sushma Sumukha, both of them are in the autism spectrum. You have Gordy and her husband, uh, both of them, and so on. Both of them have got 100% visual impairment. So love has no boundaries. <coughs> Disability being minuscule when it comes to something as large as <coughs> that we all have. So it gives me, uh, you see, COVID happened, and this is very important. 30 of our cafe shut down. One. Went into hibernation all within corporates like Infosys, Wipro, Accenture, Wells, Fargo, sab And we were wondering, ki, boss, what do we do? We have hundreds of adults with disabilities, you know, who stood up on their feet. We need to support themselves. We have people we've trained and placed elsewhere. Many have lost their incomes because of the situation. What do we do? Then we went, and this is very important actually, because it was like starting from zero, na, shunya se start karna. So cafe band ho gaya, we don't know what's going to happen. This is like the peak of COVID March. Then we realized that we need to go back to our roots. Ki roots mein jana is extremely important. <coughs> when, remember when this 22-year-old started with the cafe with zero money and how the community came forward to support this girl? and made Mitti Cafe what it is. So we went back to the community and we said, listen boss, you know, I mean, all the dreams of our team members, whether it is this boy Haman, he saves money every month that Bhandi is going to build his own house. Oh. Or Lakshmi, single mother of two children, only earning member of her family, she can't hear or speak. You know, once she had seen a newspaper clipping which said world tour, so she works hard with a dream. Today her children will study and one day they'll take her on a world tour. And so many dreams like these are in your hands, in the hands of the community. Right from 20 rupees to lakhs is what people supported us with. In less, in less than 10 days we could raise over 12 million. Only with the support of the community. And this is just this is just about asking. Remember this girl who went from door to door, shop to shop, asking for spoons? The same girl kept asking and now she was joined by this amazing team. Where it is the community's responsibility. Inclusion belongs to everybody. And that magic was shown by the community. But our problem didn't end there. We bank accounts and paise to bhej kiye. But Parishani started there. So we are able to, you know, survival is taken care of of our team members. We kept getting calls and calls and calls and calls saying that, listen, we want to come back, we want to work, and we want to earn with dignity. And we thought, you know, corporate mein cafe is band ho gaya hai, what do we do? So we realized, hai. we will start cafes, we pivoted immediately. We will start cafes and hospitals. 
we will start cafes and residential complexes, we will start cafes and public spaces. So not only did we survive, we continued to scale. And it gives me immense pride to say that we rehabilitated a lot of adults with disabilities from the road. <coughs> Uh, you know, who would I know, begging over homeless. One of them, now he has cerebral palsy and autism. He comes to us, and this is at the peak of COVID, and he tells us that very simple. Log bhooke hai aur hame khana banana aata hai. And his intellectual disability, autism, didn't stop him from dreaming. And he says, agar hum khana banayenge, koi bhooka nahi rahega. Believed. We didn't have money. Better the survival tha. Uske baad we started new cafes. But look at look at the compassion of this person. He says that we must cook. We started with a few hundred meals, and today it gives me immense pride to say that our team of adults with disabilities have cooked and served over three million meals. Actually, it's gone up to four million meals now. <laughs> to the economically vulnerable and the homeless during the entire pandemic crisis. And all of these have been done by our team of adults with disabilities. And we've continued this Compassion Meals initiative that just reiterates this one simple fact. That you know, when we talk about adults with disabilities, persons with disabilities, you know, look, you know, they are dependent. Chalo, agar, agar kuch karte hai, to khud ke liye kar sakte hai. But just imagine, I mean, given, I mean, just having faith and given the opportunity, I mean, me standing here, I've done nothing. 3 a.m. subha se lekar, raat tak, these guys have packed, cooked and served 3 million, 4 million meals. And all of this went, you know, just given the right opportunity, faith, these are the people who've served the nation in need. And this is the magic that is possible. <coughs> And as I talk to you, you know, something that is extremely important for me is the power of the community and I cannot, you know, stop emphasizing on it. So, you know, usually, um, in fact, even when I started Mitty Cafe, you know, um, you know, I had this thing that uh, we're talking about poverty, hunger, <laughs> discrimination in millions, right? Numbers are millions. Mein hai. What difference will it make? Agar, you know, hum kuch bhi karte hai. So taking from where Jen came and left. So I'll tell you this one story that is a very simple story that has absolutely been life-changing for me. And I hope that you pass on this story outside this room. So there was a high tide and there were millions of starfishes on the seashore. Oh. And so there was this young girl, she was picking up one starfish, throwing it into the water, the other starfish throwing it into the water. And a wise old man comes and asks her, Oi, what are you doing? So she continues to do what she is doing. This time he asks her more assertively, What are you doing? What difference does it make? Like the whole shore is full of starfishes, they die. Here you are, you are picking up one single starfish, throwing it into the water. Is this some kind of a game? What difference does it make? And what she has done has changed my perception about change. So she picks up this one starfish and she throws it into the water and she tells the wise man that it made a difference to that one. So for me, my first starfish was this girl here, Kirti. And every day there's that hunger, that pursuit to find the other and the other and the other Kirti. Till we reach out to the billionth Kirti across the world for whom economic independence and dignity is not yet a reality. And you know, what is most important is that we are a social work. We are doing social work. I mean, it's such a glorified term. Let's replace it with social duty. And let's just see how our mindset changes. I mean, with all the privileges that we have, I mean, there are millions of young girl children who drop out of school every day. Millions who are homeless, millions who are hungry. Millions whose voices are unheard. Millions who don't get an opportunity. And here we are with the potential to bat that one starfish in our chola and the other and the other. And to pay off that debt that we have na, for whatever God has done for us, our family has done for us, this community has done for us, of the community that we have to repay. And as one of my favorite poets says, 
एंड द साइन हैज स्टक ऑन टू मी दैट मेरे सीने में नहीं तो तेरे सीने में सही हो कहीं भी आग लेकिन आग जलनी चाहिए that is irrespective of the recognition whether the recognition is in my heart or yours irrespective of whether i live or die sabko marna hai but inspire just that one more person and go and the world will change for what we all dream of it and the magic is in each one of you <coughs> unleash it because you all have the potential to change so many lives here thank you
she is doing well. She's eating her lunch and dinner on time. <laughs> yes. And I keep traveling with her. Uh, so. so in fact, in fact, he proudly eats them. Kya hai, bichhi, kya hai? Okay, so sometimes I work as an intern. I <laughs> take time from my busy schedule and try to do as much as possible. In fact, in fact, before marriage, he, he volunteered at Mitty Cafe, so that was my criteria. And then he passed away. So, you were also a little no, he's, he's one of the most amazing people, so I think whatever one is able to do, the community, the ecosystem is extremely responsible. So, you know, if even if at 3 o'clock in the yeah, you know, I just tell him that tomorrow morning I'm not going to be there. You know, he's somebody who's like, Achha, okay, how can I help? So it's just so important to have the right person. And here's the right person. Fantastic, Elena. So, Alina, uh, as uh, Leila had mentioned, I've been also working with special children. Um, I have a daughter who's Down syndrome and she's 42 years old now. And she's also independent. She's working as an uh, assistant teacher and um, uh, assistant teacher and assistant in office and a whole lot of things. She has a whole lot of abilities. So, that's the important thing, like you said, that we have to look at the abilities of the people. And that's the only way you can take this whole vision forward. And I promise you, we are uh, talking to a couple of people. And Usha ji is here from uh, Anand. And Usha Grover ji and Rina Tiwari ji are, they are here from Anand. And Anand is uh, uh, again a training in a rehab center for uh, children with special needs. We also have someone from YMCA here. Uh, we have people from YMC and some other uh, special schools also. So the whole idea was to call them and uh, also show them what is possible. So we are going to try and bring in some Mitty Cafes in Delhi. And I believe the first one is opening in Hansaraj. Yeah, yeah. We are opening one in Hansaraj. And <clears throat> so that's Hansaraj College. Hansaraj College yeah. So it's going to open, I think, uh, in December. Right, you said? Yeah. And, uh, yes, I'm going to try and introduce you to the rest of the leadership and flow also, so that they can take it forward in their cities also, you know. Though Bangalore, uh, Bangalore is already aware of uh, your cafes and all. But here, uh, the floor is open for questions, if anybody has any questions. Excellent presentation, love your passion for whatever you are doing, God bless you, may you have more power. You are dealing with people with natural disability. I went through an unnatural disability where I had a fall in a very posh hospital and I broke my knee into two and uh, this was 20 years ago and I was bedridden for one year. So I faced that disability so I know. I relate very well with it. I have no other things but two observations if it helps you. It's helped me. First thing my learning was you grow when you help others grow, which you are doing. So it's growth not only external, it's yeah. internal also. And second thing, I relate with what you said about social duty. I'm okay with the word CSR. But I feel ISR is more important, individual social responsibility. So these are my two things which I wanted to share and God bless you. Thank you. No, absolutely. I completely resonate with what you just expressed. And you know, as we talk about development and uh, there's only one, one form of development and that can be inclusive development. Every other form of development is pseudo. And what is inclusive development? Inclusive development is when we take together, embrace the most vulnerable factions of the society. When we talk about India as a nation, what is it? It's people. It's all of us. Another thought which came while chatting with you is uh, 20 years ago when I started, I mean, I learned to walk again. Uh, I was, uh, you know, through friends, and of course, Jansi she knows about it. I got, uh, uh, as a volunteer, involved with two schools for 
uh, inclusion. One is Akshay Pratishthan and one is uh, Amar Jyoti. And that is the time when they had this uh, special Olympiad for the differently abled. And the lovely banners they had there was one is disability is not inability. They are not disabled, they are differently able. So these are the things one carries and changed my life and I met a lot of lovely people and every year I go to Amar Jyoti and these kids still remember me and I remember them. It's lovely to see them and their wheelchair Bharatanatyams and wheelchair dances and all. So perhaps your kids, I can call them your kids, maybe they can get into You've been such an inspiration, and I mean, in fact, you've gone through something that you know has actually made you realize what a lot of people with disabilities go through. I mean, we've all gone through lockdowns, right? Ghar uh, se, we cannot get out, that's a problem. If we don't get out, that's a problem. Lack of opportunities, loss of jobs. Imagine persons with disabilities because of the disability in our perception are kept in a lockdown for a lifetime. Imagine that frustration that we faced for a month, two months. They faced for a lifetime. And I, I remember I had taken a couple of my team members to Mumbai. And which is when we decided that beaches to take a hai. And which is when we realized that the beaches are not accessible. Yeah. It no, was but such a... Has done one in Kerala. He called the Kulpur in no, which is, which is wonderful, but why not all the beaches across the world? Why not the country? Even Marina Beach has a passage for... Uh, yeah, and so that, I mean... A path for... The exactly, I mean, something as basic as accessibility. It seems so. I wanted to ask you a question. How many Catholics do you have? We have 23. And I'm going to ask you a very awkward question. Everything that people do, they have to do the Uh, it's a very important question. So for us, at Vitti, we're a non-profit organization, but sustainability is the core of what we do. If once we set up the cafe, the cafe needs to be self-sustainable for a lifetime, ensuring economic independence, dignity for adults with disabilities, as well as awareness that we create. So we are selling food. And so every cafe is self-sustainable. We don't need money to run a cafe. So we open it in locations that are strategic, like corporates like Infosys Wipra Accenture. We're starting two at the Bangalore International Airport. We have cafes at colleges, including now we're starting at Hansraj. Uh, inside residential complexes. So uh, again, for us, sustainability is very, very important. Even cafe Shiru, we, we need not be dependent. It's not even required. We are selling food. We are selling an experience. We are creating awareness about inclusion. But all of that can be done sustainably. It sustains itself. Each of, each of the cafes are between 80 to 100 square feet in size. We can start any cafe in less than 80 hours after the size of the interview. We can cut the ribbon. And train? We train them? We do, yes. We have experiential training centers. We have larger ones. But each of our cafes, apart from X number of adults with disabilities who are directly employed there, there are always additional number of people who are trained and are placed at a Mitte cafe or with other partner organizations. And there's no training that substitutes experiential training where they fail, learn, make mistakes. Yes. Yeah, hi, Elena. You did such a wonderful job. I mean, it's amazing. I could never think somebody is doing like this. You know, uh, Jayanti has been a friend since last 15 years, and I remember the first time she called me for her. She has a Founders Day every year where the children perform and very well. You can't make out, you know, that. Uh, they have uh, special uh, needs or something. And I remember first time I went to her, the thing I howled, howled and howled. I cried so much <laughs> that, you know, somehow I couldn't come on terms with it. But since uh, in association with her and because we've been talking about it a lot. And now I see them in a very different light, like what you showed us today. Mujalatayniki, their children with special needs now. Yeah, I mean, they look very normal and very good to us. Thank you. And it's amazing. Thank you so much, ma'am. In fact, uh, uh, you know, I remember, so, you know, while you, you all have met Kirti, so there's another girl, Sabiha. So, Sabiha has got multiple sclerosis, which is a severe disability. You have very little control over your limbs, your hands, and your legs. 
So you must be wondering what use can a sabiha be to a set up like you know petty cafe. So earlier we tried to put her in the kitchen and it didn't work out. Um, then we realized that she's got the gift of the gab. You know what that means? If you come in for a five rupees chai, she will talk you out of a fifty rupees combo meal. Wow. <laughs> so that's the talent that this girl doesn't work with petty cafe anymore. She doesn't need us. She started her own Kirana shop. She's employed a person with Down syndrome. And uh, she's an entrepreneur and our Atta Chawal comes from there, her shop. So she's one of our vendors. And, uh, so, I mean, every person, irrespective of how severe the discipline, I mean, we generally talk about, and in fact, a lot of um, organizations, like, you know, uh, at least in the FMP industry, like Costa Coffee, Hatti Coffee, uh, Cafe Coffee, they, they do hire adults with disabilities, which is great. But, and they also come to us you know, for recruitment, but they say, I mean, we want adults with hearing and speech impairment and persons with disabilities who are easy to work with. Severe disabilities, why not? I mean, at Mitti Cafe, you know, 100 Mitti Cafes, 1,000 people with disabilities, uh, you know, employ 10,000 train, doesn't move the needle, we talk about 70 million people with disabilities only in India. So it is, I mean, Till to be able to reach that goal of a billion, it is about awareness that you know we are doing what Nippon is trying to do through his amazing you know leadership uh, and the message that he's sending across is that we need the community to come and join us and in the movement of inclusion that belongs to all of us. We all have some or the other disability somewhere. I think acknowledge that, be empathetic and realize your power at an individual and eventually at a collective level and the world can change. Yes. It's not a question. I'm too touched about this. Uh, I'm into a uh, paper business and uh, we make uh, art and craft materials for children. And recently, uh, we were always into exports. And only from the last year, we've started doing a friendly market, so I'm now in touch with a lot of people. And uh, uh, Dr. Asha at Kangaram, she runs uh, a center like this, so uh, we send a lot of materials and children are very happy. So, uh, since uh, I don't know too much about your organization, but uh, the, the smaller children, uh, because it helps them gain confidence, because the way we provide material, uh, which all of them cannot cut, so it's a pre-cut, and things that they can make easily, it helps them in their confidence. So, uh, is it at that age also that uh, you work with them? I am willing to come myself sometimes and send you a lot of material which uh, they can really use. I think that will be extremely uh, useful for us because I actually didn't mention this. So, uh, around COVID, we started a vertical called Mitty Good Gifts, gifts that give back livelihood. So, adults with disabilities, acid attack survivors, um, uh, so they make products, um, you know, that we sell and most of our clients are B2B. So, in fact, some of the art items that you, you know, can help us do, uh, we could eventually create, uh, you know, market and create uh, economic independence, dignity, livelihood opportunities for persons with disabilities. So everything that we do is around livelihood. Um, you know, it is about ensuring that, uh, you know, their dependence keeps on reducing, you know, from us. I think that's always the objective. Yeah. They should earn. Yeah. So we, we definitely could be in touch and see what best we can do. But thank you so much. Let's say aluki sabzi, dal is also just, 
uh, topping and all that, we might finish it in half an hour at evening. A uh, special child initially might take one hour, but gradually they'll finish it in 20 minutes. Believe me, because we train children in our school, we train them to make their own meals so that they can be self-independent when their parents are not at home. So that's what it's all about. So it's not a different way of learning. It's just the, uh, uh, you know, maybe we might have to repeat it four times instead of just twice. That's the only difference. So do you have the founders day, like that program? Not after COVID, no. Now we'll do something. So Anushri, it's just like what we do, the same way we can make anyone learn. Yes, 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 yes. So they are no different. They are no, same they are as us. Yeah, 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 and I think additionally, um, you know, also the responsibility of the community. So for example, um, you know, we have Toshin. So he walks into a lady's washroom twice, he's got Down syndrome at um, ANZ, Australia, New Zealand Bank. And that's a security concern, right? But ANZ Bank ensured that, you know, we, because they looked at Toshin's history. I mean, he comes in in the morning, he has to report at 7 a.m., he comes in at, you know, 6.45 every day, he's working. <coughs> Even if he's made, you know, that particular mistake, it is okay. So it is all, and today, I, I, I remember that, uh, you know, we had this cook, we had this chef called Arjun. So, you know, when Toshita initially joined in, it was difficult, you know, for a lot of our team members to, uh, you know, uh, basically get used to a lot of habits he may have or, uh, you know, maybe difficult for them to understand Toshin. So now this Arjun calls me up one day, he's like, Madam, I am not able to manage. I am not able to manage. So I was like, okay, maybe you know, there's some issue with us. You know, maybe we'd have to change the way, uh, you know, we're engaging Toshir. His, you know, the entire engagement process needs to change. And that is something that we worked on ourselves. Six months fast forward, Arjun calls me and he's like, Madam, I was like, why not it Because I heard that good reviews about Toshir. He said, so, I mean, he is absolutely dependent on Toshit now. And just uh, another day, I walk into one of our cafes, and there's this box. So, you know, there's a customer who he's so angry and he comes like, you know, charging at me. And, uh, you know, he, somebody told him that I just started Minty Cafe. He said, Are you, you know, did you start Minty Cafe? I said, Yes. And he says, like, Who is this boy here? You know, at your counter, you know the way he talks? He's telling me, Samosa, how many? <laughs> so, uh, I listened to him patiently and I explained to this gentleman that his name is Bharat. Bharat is in the autism spectrum, uh, which is again an invisible disability. Not all disabilities are visible, which is again very important for us to also understand. And Toshin's expressions may not do justice to how proud and happy he is with it and how important you are yeah. to his journey, his family's journey. He didn't say anything, he left. Just, I was very lucky that, um, unlucky, lucky, <laughs> that that day I was very scared. I went in and I saw that it was the same person and he didn't see me, so I just stood back. And uh, I see that he's at the counter, he's got another customer, He's introducing him to Bharat and giving Bharat high five. <laughs> That's how things change. And that, these are the possibilities. And while Jayanti Nam said that, you know, they may take time to learn. They may be slow, but they are perfectionists in whatever they do. And that is what we've seen over and over and over again with our team of adults with physical disabilities, with intellectual disabilities, with psychiatric disabilities. I mean, and it is the responsibility of the community to do our bit to include them. We will show you magic goes back. Completely resonate with gentlemen. Thank you so much, Amina. We are all great. No words. Speechless, all of us. Now I would invite our GP member, Priyanka Ji, to present vote of thanks.
here again, I'm going to stop what they're saying. Because uh, when my son, my son has a disability and when he was small, and I went to school admissions, I used to just tell people, judge people for what they can do, not what they can't do. And I think Alina is doing just that. Uh, we've heard Alina speak about her mission, vision, and action in creating a more equitable, inclusive environment for the disabled. And I think our main learning is that we have to do the same. So I'd like, like to thank you for waking us up to reality. Once uh, my son was being interviewed and Nalini Singh asked him, how do you feel with the problem in school? And he said, Taklif sabko hai, meri dikti hai. And she ran me a friend, you said this dialogue. I said, no, it was him. And you are able to see it even better than us. So thank you for spreading smiles and capabilities to all these people. Thank you, Kirti, Hemant, and Rupa for sharing about your life. We all have to work together and make a change. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Pras President, GB members for being present here. Thank you for the sponsors of the year 22-23, Platinum sponsors, KEI wires and cables, GHCL, associate sponsors, Artinox and Amuja Sons, and thank you to our sponsor, Avarna Jain, for all the Sariga, Sarigama, Karavans, for all the guests today. Now let's get together for the group photograph. First with the past president, only you there. <laughs> okay, and all the TV members also, and the secretary.